Sue Kaufman, physical educator, and I'm here to show you how to do a squat the right way. Now, what happens to a lot of us is we start exercising, we have great intentions, we get injured, and if you get injured, what do you do? You stop exercising. So we're trying to avoid that by doing the basic exercises that you do in a lot of workout programs with proper form. So th today I'm showing you how to do a squat the right way. Now the first thing I need to show you is to keep your knees over your toes. And to do that, I'll have to move the video camera. Alright, now you can see my toes. I have my feet hip width apart. Turning sideways, you're not going to be able to tell that. Alright, hip width apart. Now, your knees should come down so that they stay over your toes. This is incorrect. See how far out my knees are? Correct. Back here. A good way to do this is if you look down while you're doing a squat, you should be able to see your toes. If you can't see them, done it incorrectly. Now, the next thing you need to remember, now how do you stay with your knees over your toes? and get your thighs parallel to the floor, you have to sit down like you're sitting on a toilet. So you just sit back and up. Sit back and up. It's like you're getting back on the toilet. Now if you do this correctly, and see how my, you can see in the camera, my legs are parallel with the bottom of the video screen and that would make them parallel with the floor. If you do this correctly, you're going to feel it in your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Here, here, here. And that's how to do a squat the right way. I'll see you next time for a new exercise. Bye-bye.